A dimension is a way of measuring one of two things, right? Either you can say an object, or what we call, uh, this is a technical word by the way, a space, right? So a dimension is a way of measuring an object or a space. Now this word space, it has a very technical meaning, which I'm about to explain in a second. All it means is, if you've got a space, you can move around in some way. Okay? Um, and you can move on different axes. Uh, another sort of um, synonym for axis is direction. But since a few years ago, when a certain boy band appeared, I tried to say the word direction as little as possible. Um, as you'll see, believe me, it gets worse. Okay? So, a direction that I can move in, all right? Now let's draw ourselves a table to try and unpack in sort of concrete terms what these dimensions are, okay? What we're trying to think about is the different kinds of objects or spaces that have different kinds of dimensions, right? And there are four that you are familiar with on sort of a daily basis. So our headings are dimensions, and this is gonna be just, it's just gonna be a number, okay? Uh, the second one is, okay, what, what do the directions look like? Okay, so you can just call it directions. Directions. Uh, wait. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. And then what we're going to have on the end is what, what would you name an object in this um, in this space? Okay. So what would you name the thing? We have names for these, right? Now, for reasons that will become clear in a moment, I'm going to leave that first row. We'll leave it blank. It's a bit strange. We'll come back to it. We'll go to this first one. What happens? when you have an object or a space and it has one dimension, right? It means you have one axis, right? So for instance, I could say left and right, okay? Left and right, that's a single direction that you can move in, okay? A single axis, right? So what does it look like? It looks something like this, left, right. That's what a one-dimensional object or a one-dimensional space looks like. Now it goes on forever and we have a name for this, right? What do you call such an object? It's just a line, right? Now we could label it further and give it say called the x-axis for a second. At the moment that doesn't make all that much sense because I don't have any other axes so I don't need to name them. I'm just going to call it the line, right? And we have this in, um, you know, when you first learn about integers and stuff. We have the number line, okay? You can go this way, you can go that way. Alright, still familiar ground if we add a dimension. Okay. I'm going to retain this left-right axis of movement that I had before, left-right. But if I want a second dimension, I need a second direction that I can move in. So of course you've seen this before, we have up-down. Right? Now, um, René Descartes, René Descartes, French guy, very smart. He was the first person to do a lot of rigorous work with understanding this kind of um, coordinate system, which is why this kind of shape, there's up down, at least when we learn about it, bears his name. What do you call this thing? Cartesian. We call it the Cartesian plane, right? It's a, it's a space that's got two dimensions. So you can just call it plane. It doesn't have to be Cartesian, right? I haven't put an X and a Y on it. But that's this idea. I've got two directions I can move in. Or another way I can say it is, I can uniquely define anywhere in this space with two numbers, an x and a y, in exactly the same way that I can uniquely define anywhere in this space with just one number, because it's one dimensional, right? So as soon as I say, like, you know, if I say, okay, I'm at zero, you don't need any more information to know where I am, okay? But if I said here, I'm at zero, that's not enough information. I could be anywhere on this vertical line. You need a second number, a second coordinate. Okay. All right, still familiar. In fact, the world we inhabit, three dimensions. We're gonna take the same directions we already have. We're just gonna add one more, right? So I've got up, down. I've got left, right. Now this is where the whiteboard and your book is going to fail us at the moment because what we're drawing on is a plane, right? We're drawing on a two-dimensional space. I've got the board, you've got the book, okay? So unfortunately, we can't draw a real three-dimensional space, but we can pretend to, right? How would you draw it? Diagonally. 
Yeah, diagonally you'd put another axis in, right? So let's do that. And if you kind of squint at it, you can kind of imagine what it's doing is it's going back and forth, back and forth, I guess you'd say like out of your page or, or further down into your book. Okay, so I'm going to call this axis back and forth. By the way, as, um, as was mentioned before, if we want to name these things, right, this would just be x, this one would be x and y. In a bit of a confusing thing, we tend to say, okay, well, we'll have x and then y, and then this would be z coming out of the page. But sometimes z is drawn in a different orientation going up and down. Anyhow, three different axes. Now, I really like this word that was mentioned before. It wasn't the word I originally chose, but I like it because it's... Um, it says the same idea in a different way. I don't have to just think about movement. I can also think about like how far away am I? How big is that number? That's what magnitude means. Okay. What do we call this thing? We call this a volume. You're used to thinking of that as like, oh, how much, you know, how much space does this thing take up? Right? Well, what it really means is that whole space in there. I can move in three dimensions. Now, here's why I left off that first row, right? These dimensions we're familiar with and we work with them all the time, at least in mathematics we do, right? So when you've got one, two, and three, that kind of implies a zero, doesn't it? Now what would that mean, right? That means I can't move anywhere, right? I can't move up, down, left, right, back and forth. Can't even move this way or just in one direction. See why I avoid doing that. <laughs> I was doing so well. Yeah. I can't move anywhere. So what does that thing look like? Ta-da. There he is. Right. Uh, it's just a dot. Our technical name for dots in mathematics, of course, are points. So a point has no dimensions. You can't go anywhere. Right? 